Okay guys, today we're gonna to be going over two products from the NV Exterior Series, Snow Plus and Purify. These are two chemical decontamination products that are very versatile and very effective for the chemical decontamination process and prep washing a vehicle, both for new car protection and also for decontaminating a previously coated vehicle. Snow Plus is a highly concentrated intensified foaming wash that can be used in the foam cannon and also in the wash bucket and wheel bucket. It's very concentrated. You only need one ounce in the wheel bucket or the hand washing bucket. And in the foam cannon, I suggest a one to 10 ratio for prepping vehicles or deep cleaning a ceramic coated vehicle. While it's completely safe to use, I do not recommend using this as a consistent maintenance washing product for coated vehicles only because it's unnecessarily strong. They make a pH balanced shampoo called Snow that works perfect for maintaining a coated vehicle regularly. This is probably my favorite pre-washing product for new cars. Today we're gonna to be working on a 2019 Cayman S with only 300 miles on it. The vehicle is very clean overall but it does have some issues just from sitting at the lot prior to delivery and snow plus is going to be a great solution for removing any of the protection that the dealership might have put on and getting the paintwork prepared for a s-tech gloss carbon hood install and possibly some other services depending on what the customer decides to do purify is a really unique product it is a clay lubricant and reactive fallout cleaner combined. So what this means for the consumer is that it's a very cost effective way to avoid having to buy two products in one, meaning you can use this to deep clean the paintwork of any embedded iron contaminants and also use it with a high quality clay bar, clay mitt, or clay towel. Today we'll be using the Clean Clay Mitt with Purify to get this paintwork ready for the services the customer is paying for. So I also have Snow Plus in my wash bucket here and in my wheel bucket. I found that it's definitely my favorite shampoo as far as for the wheel bucket. I like it for tires, cleaning wheels, and fender liners. That can be used routinely um, as to where for the paintwork, you really want to keep that to a quarterly uh, deep clean or for preparing a, a vehicle for detailing services. So I'll start by foaming the vehicle down with Snow Plus. So as you can see, the dealership has put some sort of protection on this vehicle. It's got a little bit of hydrophobic effect going on here. So Snow Plus is gonna help loosen that up and help us remove it prior to using Purify. We're using our detail guards here, which are amazing. It's a simple product. I believe they're $20 and it helps the hose run smoothly. It's got a little spinning wheel here so that your pressure washer garden hose does not get stuck on the tires, which can be quite annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for five to 10 minutes. You don't want it to dry completely on the vehicle, but it is safe enough that you can just let it dwell. Snow Plus is a highly cost-effective product. 
I only had to use one ounce in both the wheel bucket and the wash bucket. It foams up quite nicely. This customer we met at Cars and Cappuccino here in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a great event. If you guys have not heard of it, I encourage you to check it out on Facebook or Instagram. I believe they have a website as well on Google where you can sign up to become a member. The dues yearly or verily are very uh, fair and it's an amazing event. So if you're into European cars, both classic and modern, I encourage you to check it out. So while the paintwork dwells, I'm going to use that as an opportunity to go ahead and detail the wheels. The wheels are staying on this vehicle, they're not coming off, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean them while they're on the car outside using Snow Plus and a Geon Quartz wheel brush. Snow Plus is perfectly safe for matte finished wheels such as the ones on this vehicle here. You don't have to worry about any staining or etching or anything like that, like with some all-purpose cleaners. Going to use a stiff brush with Snow Plus to clean the tires. These tires are not very dirty, so I don't need a dedicated tire cleaner for these. And for the fender liners, I really like to use a Green Monster. We've done a couple of videos on this product. super versatile towel that you can use for just about anything. This one's been around for probably six months and we use it for wheels, tires, fender liners, anything that's super dirty. So I know I mentioned that you wanna let it dwell on the paint for five to 10 minutes and not let it dry. Today is a very cool day outside. It's not scorching hot. So I'm not worried about it drying up as I take time to detail the wheels here. If it was a scorching hot day, I would advise to rinse it off prior to doing the wheels, just so you don't have to worry about it drying up on the painted surface. So as you can see, Snow Plus does a really good job of cleaning the tire, there's no browning. Fender liners are nice and clean, ready for protection, and there's no film or residue left behind on the wheel. It rinses away very easily. Let's see a little spot right here I missed. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the paint because it is starting to dry up on me just a little bit here. So as you can tell, it's definitely done a good job of removing quite a bit of the hydrophobic effect that was on the paintwork prior to washing. The glass is still beating quite a bit. I'm not sure if the owner possibly put something on there, but the purify and claim it stage, I'm confident we'll get rid of that. The 
Mars cappuccino. Detail cards doing work. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean the other three wheels and fender liners and tires, and then we will move on to hand washing and how to use Purify with the clay mitt. You might hear this hitting the wheel. This is perfectly safe. It's a nice soft foam uh, cusp to keep your hand from getting dirty, but it won't scratch your wheels. Even jet black finishes, it's totally safe. The green monster is paint safe. So if you do happen to get some, you know, touching the paint, you don't have to worry about marring it or anything. Obviously you want to check to make sure there's not debris and contaminants such as this in the towel before it does touch the paint. But typically on really filthy cars, we will keep a dedicated green monster in the wash bucket to use for tar removal, cleaning rocker panels and things like that. If you find that you're losing some of your sudsing in the wash bucket, you can simply just 
spray some pressurized water in there and you'll get it right back. One thing the green monster is great for is reaching in between tight spaces like right here, between the calipers and the wheel face. This avoids me having to pull the car forward after cleaning to get any of those missed areas. So now that we're done with the wheels, I'm gonna set this aside and get started with the paintwork. So one thing that I've noticed about Snow Plus as a shampoo for paintwork it's incredibly slick, which I really like. Some people say that installing damage is not a huge deal when you're preparing a car for machine polishing. However, there is only a finite amount of clear coat on the car, so I wanna avoid installing any more damage than what the car came in with at any cost. Snow Plus does a really good job of doing this, especially with this Softy Series pad from Clin. The two together work really well to glide across the surface and lift the contamination off rather than pushing it around and causing damage. So I'm gonna make three to four passes before I flip the towel over, the pad over, I mean. I'm not as worried on glass about causing scratches as I am on the paint. And then I'm just gonna visit the rinse bucket and make sure to thoroughly push the wash media up against the dirt lock there in the bottom of the bucket, if you can see it. I'm gonna revisit the wash and repeat the process. I know I'm moving rather quick, but even if you guys can't tell from the video, I am inspecting every time before I put the wash media on the paint just to make sure there's no dirt particulates or leaves or anything that I might have picked up uh, when moving between the two buckets because I don't want that damaging the paint. I know I've said this before in my other videos, you always want to work in straight lines when you're washing. I see a lot of people going in circles, scrubbing in areas. You really don't wanna do that. Straight lines is the best way to go for a couple of reasons. It's a lot easier to polish out scratches that are in a straight line rather than swirl marks. And also, if you're doing it properly and going in straight lines, you shouldn't be using any force. If anything, I'm almost lifting the pad as I'm moving it back and forth so that I'm not putting pressure down onto the panel. And while this could be an assumption, when I see people going in circles, I feel like I'm seeing someone putting downward pressure to try and scrub contamination off, which is not what you wanna do. Purify is gonna help us remove that contamination in the least invasive way possible. Now 
Another thing I really like about this pad, it holds a lot of wash solution and it can get quite small to fit into tight places, such as these vents, underneath door handles, in between mirrors, etc. Flip it over, keep working in straight lines. I try to overlap by about an inch or two so that I don't miss any spots. Although we're all human and sometimes we do miss spots, I find that doing that reduces my chances of missing any areas. So for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna wash the entire vehicle before I use Purify. Typically what I would do is wash the entire car, rinse the entire car off, and then do my Purify two to three panels at a time. I am gonna obviously wash the entire car, but for the sake of this video, what I'm gonna do is I've washed these few panels here. I'm gonna rinse them off and go ahead and do my Purify process on these three panels to show you guys how that works. So this is a pretty cool example here. This panel has been pre-washed, pre-soaked with Snow Plus through the foam lance. This has been pre-soaked and hand-washed. You can see there's still a little bit of hydrophobic action going on here as to where the panel that I've hand-washed is almost completely dead flat. It just shows how effective Snow Plus is as a decontamination wash product. Same thing here with the roof. Still have some pretty good hydrophobic action on the passenger side. You can literally see the line where I've stopped washing. So it's a very strong but safe decontamination shampoo. Water movement is almost dead flat here. So it's doing a very good job. Okay, so Purify is very simple to use. Get the product going through the sprayer here. You don't need much of the product. I'm just spraying enough to get even coverage edge to edge of the panel. I'm gonna do the fender, the door, and the quarter panel at one time. I would not suggest doing more than three panels at a time unless you have the luxury of washing indoors where you're not worried about the sun drying the product on the car. But just like Snow Plus, the takeaway there is you want to make sure that the product does not get dried up, especially by the sun. It's safe to use on glass, so I'm gonna use it on the glass as well to help get that hydrophobic effect off of there so that we can replace it with something more substantial for the client. So I'm only doing it on the areas where I have used the Snow Plus. I'm gonna let it sit for a few moments and then I'm gonna go to the Clean Clay Pad using the Snow Plus wash solution. It is a reactive product, meaning it changes colors with the contamination that it's removing. This being a brand new car with 300 miles on it, it has not been driven very much, so there's not too much iron contamination in the paint. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but I do see a little bit dripping off of the paint into the foam here. But for the most part, this vehicle is very clean. on a heavily contaminated car, especially light colored vehicles, you would see that purple, purplish red uh, reactive color change going on. Purify is also a very slick product because it is a clay lubricant and a fallout cleaner in one, which is great for the process we're about to begin. 
So I've done one other video, including this product. We really like this product here for new vehicles such as this one that don't require extensive claying. What we're trying to do is decontaminate the paint while installing as minimal damage as possible. So the combination of Snow Plus followed with Purify and this clay mitt, we found that we can get the paint squeaky clean, contamination free while installing very minimal damage. Also while saving a lot of steps and a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do now that the product has sat on here for a few minutes, I'm gonna follow the same process as washing. I'm working in straight lines. And I know you guys can't get this through the video, but you will feel a sense of dragging on the areas where there is more contamination. You know you've finished that section when you no longer feel that dragging. If you come across a place where it's dragging quite a bit, you're gonna to wanna to revisit the rinse and wash buckets to make sure that you're not pushing that contamination across the paint repeatedly, installing more damage. So just like washing, I suggest doing a few passes at a time and revisiting the wash and rinse buckets often. It's safe to use on paint, glass, plastic headlight lenses, black plastic trim. It is totally safe to be on there. I just would recommend not letting it dry in the sun or like with any fallout cleaner, you may experience some staining or etching that requires a process in itself to resolve. One thing I've noticed specifically about the Clean Clay Mitt versus the other clay towels and clay substitute products I've used is that it does not leave behind any of the black synthetic material on the painted surface. I found with some other products, if I happen to graze across some of the black plastic trim or anything that's not a completely smooth surface, I will, it'll drag some of this product off and leave a scuff mark looking appearance, which can easily come off, but it is an annoyance. And it deterred me from using these products prior to finding the Clean variant. It's a super user friendly process. and I can feel that the paintwork is completely smooth and contamination free. You can audibly hear the on this camera, but it's a very slight sound you'll hear when it catches contamination. And then you'll also feel it through the mitt once that contamination has been lifted because you won't feel that dragging anymore. Okay, so before my camera battery died, what I was saying is that I have completed the Snow Plus foam wash, Snow Plus hand wash, and the purify process with the Clean Clay Mitt on these sections of the vehicle. As you can see, the water movement is nearly dead flat, which means it's done a great job of decontaminating the surface and preparing it for the next steps of the detail process. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the vehicle, hand washing and using Purify, and then we'll get some footage of drying the vehicle with the Blow Air GT forced air dryer and a Clean drying duo. I hope this video helps. I appreciate you guys watching. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please feel free to drop them in the comments or send us an email and we'll make sure to get to that. Thanks.